Hi Sagis! Welcome to my channel. If you are watching this in YouTube, um, this is for the people who subscribe to 6 months and a 12 month videos. Uh, it's like a 6 or 12 videos. Um, love and relationship, that's in YouTube. This is a snippet, so it's a trailer. So if you're not subscribed, it's none of your bizwax. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can join. If not, there is love and relationship that we upload on YouTube. This doesn't go to YouTube. What you see is a trailer and a snippet. So don't expect a reading in this video. It's a snippet. Wikipedia will help you. Okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to continue the reading and I'll see you in the other side for the subscribers. And if you are, if you vibe, you join the tribe. If you don't, move along. <laughs> okay? I'll see ya. Bye. Hi everyone. So this is the spread that you will be seeing in the subscription for the career and then also for the love. This is finances and abundance. In order, we do discuss the first house all the way to the tenth house. This reflects the I, how people will see you, how um, this is how the communication will go through with regards to um, love, finances, and career, but we do use to spread into a different deck. But this is how it is on the third house. The fourth house reflects also properties, reflects also how you, um, your home, a sense of home. Um, this is also reflects your, um, these, uh, properties. And then on the fifth house is your house of creativity and dating. And then as far as your sixth house, the one that I look for here is how you can lose money or how you can lose the person that you are dealing with. If you are at the love relationship, uh, the love relationship reading, we stop at the seventh house, and then this is how basically the partnership is, because this is one seven, and this um, indicates you know the partnership will be doing well as far as the star card. But in the reading, whatever the seventh house would be, and how that's how the energy will be for that month. The eighth house, of course, this is the only part that we will be looking at all the way through for the finances because the finances will go to all the way to the tenth. This would stop already in the love and relationship. But as far as the, the finances, you will see here in the eighth house is how um, there are things that you need to know with regards to your finances. If someone is stealing from you, like work-related, if there's gossip, this is the eighth house that I would be looking at because this is the house of secrecy. Ninth house is how you can be guided because the ninth house is the source. This is about communication to, to God or to your spirituality. And this is how you can be guided with regards to your finances because it's not enough that you put your hard work with the eye. It's very important still to center ourselves with the source. And then as far as the last part, this is how the society, your calling, is your 10th house, your career. It is also reflective in the ten, in the in this sector, the 6th house is your 9 to 5 as far as your career. And this is where your deeper calling is. And as far as like this demo, it is the 7 of cups. So it's showing here that this person has a lot of sense of calling. Okay? So now that you are familiar with the spread that I use for the reading next what you will see is the snippets enjoy you the eye the tower eye of the tiger eye of the storm you have the tower card <laughs> okay in your career in your finances right now you could be probably needing to risk a big change in your career a big change so this is that kind of energy more of an aham it can move in with you with a hierophant in your natural fifth okay <laughs> A dreamer who can have everything and anything in the world when you felt like you were misguided. Five of Cups is feeling misguided. Interesting. And this is supposed to be an I. So you have someone who's a self-centered person. Um, loving energy. There is no problem. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Stay. Okay. That's that one. So it's not because you don't want a long-term relationship. You have a Five of Wands, girl. It's almost like you can manage life without... Okay. Of course, you can say, but so I want a long-term relationship.